All right, back at it. Um, turbo is off the car already. Um, I'm waiting for some fittings for the turbo drain. So that is in there. Um, none of these fittings clear, um, unfortunately. So on the actual turbo, they all hit this bolt right there. So I had to get a an extended tube fitting. So all that basically just junk. Not junk, but not usable for this application. Um, yeah, so as of today, the only thing I believe that we are going to do is take the coolant feed and run that. that is the only thing that we can do while I wait for that fitting to come in. So this right here is the drain. So that is the drain that's gonna sit right here, this fitting right here, this line. Uh, this is the oil drain, coolant drain. We have to go ahead and take out or take off the um, coolant feed that I have underneath the car. And I'll show you guys where that is. Um, it's the one that I redneck engineered, um, but should be easy to take off. Go ahead and take that off and then run our line. I am thinking about switching. This line is shorter and I believe it's bent up in there. If you see it all the way back there moving. Um, let me see if I can get you guys back there. Uh, I don't think I can see it from back there, but it's all the way back there. Um, and that, this line over here is so much shorter. So I'm not really sure what I want to do with this yet, but we'll see. So that's kind of the plan today. So let me get started on that, and then I will update you guys halfway through. Okay, so we're underneath the car. Um, this is the feed right there. So, what's going to happen? Oh, fuck. And here comes the coolant. <laughs> See if I can loosen that. Ooh. That's good. This is the, uh, yeah, good for me. That's awesome. So, it's a little brass ring, crush washer. I believe I have more. Um, yeah, that's good. Um, I'll let that drain, I guess. I did not expect there to be that much cooling in there but there was lovely stuff all right let me clean that up downstairs wipe it up and then we can put the fitting and run the hose so i'll be right back all right got the fitting on and i'll give you guys the part detail but that's it right there it came o-ringed um, into the 19 millimeter. Uh, it's tight on there. So it came with a rubber o-ring. 
so I'm not going to uh, push it and put a bunch of stuff on it like sealer or anything famous last words but um, it is dash 6 a.n. for my line and the part number for that for the coolant feed it is this right here I don't know if you guys can see that. I will link it down below. But that is it. Right here. 6 a.m. That's the part number. Uh, it's a 19 millimeter socket. And that's tight. So the next thing that is going to be running for the back of the motor straight. Uh this close side here so I don't really like doing this shit with uh, without the turbo in there because I can't really get an idea of placement and like how all that is going to work but I will figure it out um, and we'll get right back to you guys once I have it figured out. All right, so that is ran. I have my feed. Nice and connected. A 90. That's going right in between, so it's tucked. Um, definitely gonna need some heat shielding for sure. And it's gonna come out and I have a lot of slack, but the turbo's gonna sit right here. It's gonna feed into the side. This one right here, drain, will sit back there around this area. Oil drain underneath, and then feed up top. So, that is all ran, and is all looking I think pretty good for the most part. Um, like I said the only thing I'm worried about is that fitting. I used the O ring that comes with it. Now I don't know if it is going to leak um, or if I should have used thread sealant. But it's basically this O ring right here. It should be fine. I didn't use any type of thread sealant at all. But I guess we will see. Got new spark plugs as well for the car. Um, I get these at 24th. And I think these are at 0 0.26. 0 0.026, yes. And these are 0 0.024. So I already gapped those. Um, I'm kind of talking to my tuner to see what exactly he wants. But he said anything in between those should be fine. So it never hurts to have extra, just in case. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Like I said, I am just waiting for uh, fittings at this point. Um, it said it should be here on the 28th to the 29th. Um, and that way we can get the turbo on the car. Um, like I said, it should be there, but it's supposed to rain. It's supposed to downpour. So, I'll see, so hopefully it's in the morning and I can just get here and get it done. But we will see. I'm praying. Just because everything is already nice and marked up everything is already ran on the turbo um and it is ready so literally all i'm waiting for is the oil drain on the car and then fluids so oil um and coolant so that's pretty much it
that's kind of what we're waiting for. I'm gonna go ahead and run these a little bit better and then I'm gonna probably just end it there. Um, but we'll see. All right, so I'm gonna end it there. Just a quick little install. So that way I can come in, throw the turbo on, and we're good. A um, couple things. One, um, for going forward, the shorter videos, but more often, I'm going to try just quicker install videos instead of just like 45 minutes. Two, um, I picked up a set of wheels to restore. I don't know if you're interested in watching that or anything like that but I do have that and I am going to start doing that so if you guys are interested let me know in wheel restorations I'll mention in the next one too and then a custom headlight air duct I was going to do that as well I have a spare set that I'm going to tear apart so if you guys are interested in that as well please let me know uh, and I'll mention it in the next one as well uh, but other than that appreciate you guys I'll see you in the next one when I get the drain